Hello and welcome to tutorial three, creating my whole person jigsaw. So in the previous tutorial, we spent a bit of time thinking about ourselves as a whole person, thinking about what we know about ourselves that goes to make up that unique individual. So in this third tutorial, we're going to use this self-knowledge together with some aspects of our creativity to create a picture that represents us as a whole person. So why are we talking about a whole person jigsaw? Um, I think a jigsaw is a good analogy here because um, it has lots of different pieces that go to make up a whole picture in the same way that as human beings, there are lots of different pieces that go to make up a whole person. But think about what happens to your jigsaw puzzle if some of the pieces get lost or overlooked or perhaps just left in the box. The puzzle's not complete and it's not satisfying or enjoyable um, because at the end you know you're not going to have the full picture. I think the same applies to us as human beings. If some of our pieces get forgotten or ignored or aren't used, then we're not going to be able to function as a complete person and our lives won't be as satisfying or fulfilling and our contribution will be limited. So that's why I think it's important to remind ourselves of all those different pieces and try and bring them into play as much as possible. So we're going to use the jigsaw template as worksheet three. If you've downloaded the handouts, then you'll have a copy of this. If you're using your own paper and notebook, then I suggest you just take a few moments, pause the video and create a grid, um, perhaps four by five on a fresh piece of paper. And then this will be your um, effectively your blank jigsaw. You might also want to see if you can lay your hands on some coloured pens and pencils because we can use those in the next bit of this exercise. So um, assuming that you're now ready and you've got your grid or your jigsaw in front of you. So the first thing I'm going to ask you to do is to use some of the words that you came up with in the last two exercises that represent either you as a creative person or you as a whole human being. What are those words that really say the most important things that we know about ourselves? See if you can put as many of them as you can, one word or one phrase in each bit of the grid or in each piece of the jigsaw. So again, you might want to pause the video while you just do that bit of the exercise. And then when you come back, I'll explain what the next stage is. So having written your words or phrases onto your template, um, I'm now going to ask you to take a pen or pencil and just draw an image or a pattern, something that covers pretty much the whole jigsaw, but still allows the words to be seen. Um, it doesn't have to be realistic or perfect, it just needs to be something that you can relate to, uh, something that means something to you or something that just looks nice. It doesn't really matter. So for example, I've got a picture here of a flower that I've done for myself because for me, one of the things that I like to do when I want to be creative and when I want to relax is I work in my garden. So just pick something that is significant for you and just draw that picture over the whole of your jigsaw or your grid. If you have colours to hand, then you can think about using colours to complete the picture. Um, think about using colours that appeal to you, colours that you like, colours that you choose to surround yourself with, colours that make you feel good. Just something that kind of feels like you. So you might want to take some time over this or come back and finish it later. Um, so what I suggest is that you um, have a break and take some time to work on your jigsaw. Enjoy yourself, just relax and um, you know let your creativity 
workflow and see what comes up. So when you're um, ready to start that, just press pause and then press play when you're ready to start again. So we're coming to the end of tutorial three and I hope you enjoyed using your creative skills to create an image, uh, something that represents you as a person. When you've done that, um, I'd like to invite you to pin this up somewhere, um, uh, somewhere where you perhaps or even other people will see it and see what response you get, um, either from yourself when you notice it or maybe from other people when they see it and maybe ask you questions about it. Use it to remind yourself or remind them about your creative self and about those other things that you know about yourself um, and see how that feels. We're going to finish this uh, tutorial now, but in tutorial four, we're going to have another look at the whole creative process and in particular try and come up with a bit of a plan about how you can take your creativity um, and get the best use out of it in your daily life but also recognizing that if you're feeling uncertain or lacking confidence about how you can use your creativity more then we'll make a plan and we'll think about how you can deal with some of those worries and concerns about being able to do this. So I look forward to seeing you in tutorial four and I hope you enjoy working on your jigsaw.